Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the white oak, Quercus alba, an outstanding tree among all trees. It's the most important lumber tree of the white oak group. It's a large tree typically growing 80 to 100 feet tall, and on really good sites it may grow over 100 feet tall with a diameter greater than 5 feet. White oak is slow growing and long lived, living up to 400 to 500 years. White oak is native to the eastern and midwestern United States. It grows in many sites and soil types, but grows best in deep, moist, well drained soils of coves and higher bottomlands. In the southern Appalachians, it exhibits best growth on north facing slopes and in coves. White oak is generally classed as intermediate in shade tolerance. It's most tolerant in youth and becomes less tolerant as the tree becomes larger. White oak flowers are monoecious, meaning one house, which means a tree will have both male and female flowers. The male flowers are yellow-green, born in a drooping slender catkin that's about two to four inches long. The female flowers are reddish-green and appear as very small, single spikes. The flowers emerge with the leaves in mid-spring. The leaves of the white oak are deciduous and are rose-colored when they unfurl in the early spring, and they mature into a darker green. They are alternately arranged in the twig, as you can see in the photo here, and simple, they're made up of only one blade. They are typically four to seven inches long with seven to ten rounded lobes. You can tell white oak leaves from red oak leaves by the lobes. The lobes of the white oak leaf, as you can see in the top photo here, are rounded. And the lobes of the red oaks, as you can see in the bottom of the photo here, have a bristle tip on them. The fall color is usually attractive, ranging from a rich red to a reddish brown. The fruit of the white oak is an oblong acorn with a warty, bowl-shaped cap. The cap detaches at maturity. As the acorn matures, it changes color from green to brown. Acorns mature in one growing season and germinate almost immediately after falling to the ground in September to October. White oak can produce seed prolifically, but good acorn crops are irregular and occur only every four to 10 years. Trees normally bear seeds between the ages of 50 and 200 years. Wind and gravity aid in the dispersal of acorns. Wildlife are also responsible for acorn dispersal, including blue jays and gray squirrel. Both are effective in dis dispersing the seed a distance from the parent tree. Acorns are an important wildlife food and are consumed by more than a hundred different vertebrates, including birds such as wild turkey, blue jays, northern bobwhite, the wood duck, and ruffed grouse. Mammals that eat the acorns include red squirrel, rabbits, and black bear. In some areas, black bear reproductive success is affected by the success or failure of the acorn crop. We know that from the tiny acorn, a mighty oak tree grows, and according to the National Wildlife Federation, oaks are one of the top 10 trees for wildlife because they help wildlife grow. Oaks serve as a host tree for more than 500 different Lepidopteran larvae, including dagger moths and the giant silk moth that you see here in this photo. These larvae in turn feed seasonal migratory songbirds such as our warblers. These large trees also provide critical nesting habitat for many of our cavity nesters, including the white-breasted nuthatch. The white oak also provides good cover for a variety of mammals as well because the leaves typically persist longer than other plant associates in the forest. The bark is light ashy gray and can be very variable in appearance. On small to medium-sized trees, it's often broken up into small aligned blocks, which are scaly on the surface. As the tree matures, the bark is irregularly plated and fissured. The heartwood of white oak is typically a light to medium brown, and the sapwood is light brown. The grain is straight with a coarse, uneven texture. Oaks are ring porous with rows of large pores, as you can see in the photo here. In white oak, these pores are filled with tyloses, which makes this wood desirable for use in making barrels that contain liquid because it will not leak out. However, the pores in red oaks are open, which is a good characteristic to help you identify red oak wood from white oak wood. White oak is commercially a very important wood. The wood is used for furniture, cabinetry, veneer, paneling, and flooring. You probably have some type of white oak product in your own home. White oak wood is also integral in the bourbon industry. 
For bourbon to be considered bourbon, it must be aged in charred new oak barrels made from white oak. Kentucky is considered the birthplace for bourbon, crafting 95% of the world's supply. And last year, 1.7 million barrels were filled with bourbon for a total of 7.5 million barrels, the highest inventory in more than 40 years. The national champion, White Oak, is in Brunswick, Virginia. It's 331 inches in circumference, 90 feet tall, with a 120-foot crown spread. That'd be a nice tree to have in your front yard. In Kentucky, we have co-champion White Oaks. One's in Warren County. It's 228 inches in diameter, 112 feet tall, with a 119-foot crown spread. The other co-champion is in Greene County. It's 256 inches in circumference, 82 feet tall, and 117-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree National Register or the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about white oak. The white oak is the state tree of Connecticut, Illinois, and Maryland. Connecticut State Quarter was minted with a picture and inscription of a famous white oak tree, the Charter Oak. Maryland's Y oak was long recognized as the largest white oak tree in the nation. It was estimated to be more than 500 years old when it came down in a storm in 2002. The scientific name for white oak is Quercus alba. Quercus is the Latin name for the oak tree, and alba is Latin for white, referring to the light-colored bark. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the mighty white oak and have a chance to get out into your neighborhood, a local park, or your woodland and appreciate the wonders of the white oak.